Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. Today we have an interesting limit. What is the limit as x approaches to 1 of the function x cubed minus 3x plus 2 all over x to the fourth power minus 4x plus 3? Okay, let's use direct substitution. This is the first way to, to solve this. So we will have 1 minus 3 plus 2, it will be 0. And in our denominator we will have, of course, the same thing. We will have 1 plus 3 minus 4, it will be 0 as well. So we have 0 over 0. As you know, 0 over 0 is undefined, so we don't know what the values that represent. So we need to factor out these expressions that give us an undefined answer, and we need to cancel it. How can you do this? Of course, we need to factor x minus 1 from here and x minus 1 from here. So let's do this at first to our denominator. So we will have x cubed minus 3x plus 2, and I wanted to divide this by x minus 1. Let's try to divide this at first. So we will have, I multiply this by x square. So as a result, we will have x cubed minus x square. x cubed minus x square. Let's substitute it. We will have minus x square and minus 3x. Let's multiply this by x plus x. We will have x square minus x. I write it right here, x square minus x minus, as a result we will have minus 3x minus minus x, it will be minus 2x and plus 2, I write, write this from here, minus 2x plus 2, we need to multiply this by minus 2 and we will have the same thing, minus 2x plus 2. Now it's a really good case because we can factor out this x minus 1 from from here. So this x cubed minus 3x plus 2 can be written as x minus 1 times these parentheses, and it's really good. Okay, what are we going to do next? Let's try to factor out x minus 1 from our denominator using the same, the same thing as right here. So we will have x to the fourth power minus 4x and plus 3, and I wanted to factor out x minus 1. It will be a little bit complicated because we have fourth power right here, we have third power, but don't, don't, doesn't matter. We can multiply by x cubed at first. We will have x to the fourth power minus x cubed. I write this right here, x to the fourth power minus x cubed. As a result, we will have minus x cubed. We don't have the second power, but I write this minus 4x right here. We need to multiply this by x square. We will have x cube minus x square. So we will have x cube minus x square. Once more step, we don't have square right here, so we just write this minus two x minus x square right here, and minus four x as well. We need to multiply this expression by x plus x. As a result, we will have x times x, x square minus x. And we can write the last step, minus 4x minus minus x, it will be minus 3x plus 3. And multiplying this, of course, the last step by minus 3. And as a result, we will have the same as right here, minus 3x plus 3. It will be 0. So we factor out x minus 1 from here and factor out x minus 1 from here. So we can write our next step. It will be equal to the limit x approaches to 1. This will be our nominator. Nominator can be written as x minus 1 times this parenthesis, x square plus x minus 2. Really good. Our denominator can be written as x minus 1 times this parenthesis as well x minus 1 times x cube plus x square plus x minus 3. Real good case, because right now we can cancel these expressions that give us an undefined answer. So as a result, we will have our, we will have our limit. I write this limit, write this right here, because I don't have enough space. Limit x approaches to 1 of the function x square plus x minus 2 all over x cube plus x square plus x minus 3. 
let's use direct substitution. So we cancel this expression that give us an undefined answer. And right now we have this expression. So 1 plus 1 will be 2, 2 minus 2 will be 0. So once more we have 0 and I'm pretty sure that we have 0 in our denominator. Yeah, we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus 3 will be 0. So we have 0 over 0 once more. What we're going to do in our case, we need to factor out this x minus 1 once more and we need to cancel this expressions that give us undefined answer once more. So in our case we need to factor out this x minus 1 from our nominator at first. And take a look, this in our nominator x square plus x minus 2 we can write as x minus 1 times x plus 2 because we know the roots of this quadratic equation. x first will be 1 and x second will be minus 2. So right here we have our x minus 1. And we need to factor out this x minus 1 once more from our denominator. So let's do this. We will have one small trick right here. We will have x cubed plus x square plus x minus 3. And we divided this by x minus 1 once more. So we will have multiplying by x square. I write this right here, I separate this x square, multiplying this we will have x cubed minus x square, then multiplying by 2x we will have 2x square plus x right here and we of course 2x square minus 2x right here we have. One small step we multiplying this by 3, so plus 3, as, as a result we will have right here 3x minus 3 and 3x minus 3, and we have 0. So this in our denominator can be written as x minus 1 times x square plus 2x plus 3, so let's write this last step, it will be equal to, I'm sorry I don't have more space, I, I think you understand me, x approaches to 1, and in our denominator we will have this, x minus 1 times x plus 2, classic quadratic formula, and in our denominator we will have this, x minus 1 times this parenthesis, x square plus 2x and plus 3. And take a look right now. We can cancel these expressions that give us the undefined answer, so as a result we will have that limit x approaches to 1 x plus 2 in our denominator all over x square plus 2x plus 3 and right now we can use our direct substitution so in our denominator we will have 1 plus 2 will be 3 and in our denominator we will have 1 plus 2 plus 3 it will be equal to 6 so we have 6 Divide in both sides by 3, it will be 1 over 2. And this is our answer. A little bit complicated, I don't have enough space about it because I'm. We have our answer. If you have any question, if you have any suggestion, maybe you have faster method how to solve this, write a suggestion in the comment, write a question in the comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.